the historic Paris sewer systems, or Les Aigus de Paris. The building of the sewers was just one part of Baron Haussmann's and civil engineer Eugene Belgrand's 175-year project to rebuild Paris. Before the sewers were created, Paris was noted for its bad smell. Human waste was thrown into the streets, and much of the city's waste drained into the Seine River. Air conditions caused epidemics like cholera, chlamydia, the bubonic plague, hepatitis, and typhoid. This left the French with a desperate need to replace the unsuitable trough-style system. Sewers were constructed by tunneling through existing rock using gravity to run the fluids. The construction started in 1850. In just 20 years, over 500 kilometers of sewers were either in service or under construction. There was one sewer for each street by 1930. Only in the third used ideas for the sewer that he had learned from what London had done after the Industrial Revolution, including digging techniques, separated water lines, and iron piping. This marked the beginning of industrial sewage treatment. The project was paid for by state-backed loans, and altogether it cost 2.5 billion francs for the renewal of the city of Paris. During the design phase, they'd also decided to make the tunnels six feet tall. This made it easier to service them. As we all know, sewers can get pretty gross. A six-foot-tall sewer is pretty hard to keep clean, so they used extreme water pressure and forced giant metal balls down the tunnels to grind away the gunk. Paris has encountered many benefits. First is economic development and tourism. Starting in the mid-1800s, tours were given of the sections of the sewer. Sewermen gave the tours on the weekends. Today, tours are just as popular as ever. There is even a sewer museum in Paris. Sewers created a higher standard of living in Paris. The project quadrupled the number of homes with running water, and soon became the pride of Paris. Unfortunately, because no other city in the world has a sewer network like the one found in Paris, this leads to unique problems with expensive solutions. A lack of coverage beneath the city made it impossible for Paris to build up due to weight restrictions. The work was paid for and managed by the state, but the work was done by private entities. The state expropriated private buildings and land to rebuild the city of Paris and were able to do so by saying it was for the good of the people. Also, their law of 1894 was passed. This prohibited throwing waste into the streets and stated that all waste must go to the sewers. The city was completing the transition from tout à la rue, all in the streets, to tout à l'égout, all in the sewer.